I must send that letter to Frida. She is still very fond of fairy stories and has been ill. So a new tale that nobody has ever read before will certainly cheer her up. My dear Frida, because you are fond of fairy tales and have been ill, I've made you a story all for yourself. It is all about an old tailor who lived in Gloucester. <laughs> in the time of swords and periwigs and full-skirted coats with flowered lappets, <laughs> when gentlemen wore <gasps> ruffles and gold-laced waistcoats of padwasoy and taffeta, there lived a tailor <laughs> in Gloucester. One bitter cold day near Christmas time, the tailor began to make a coat. <laughs> the finest of wedding coats for the mayor of Gloucester. And a cream-colored satin waistcoat trimmed with gauze and green worsted chenille. Oh. Now, how can I fashion this with the least waste of these expensive stuffs? For I am sure I cannot afford to waste the smallest piece. Ah, now let me see. Silk of such quality on these premises. And look at this. And look. Look at this. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps there may just be. Yes, yes. A, a magnificent coat, but we'll need more silk. Uh, yes, thank you. Now we'll see. <laughs> what does he say? Ah, yes. Um, one bread there, one bread there, and um, uh, more thread. Uh, yes, more thread. Yes, and a measuring tape. Scissors, pins. Needle. Yes, yes. More silk. More silk. More silk. We need more silk. More silk. More silk. Now. The lining. Ah, oh, yes. Of course, just the thing. Yellow taffeta. Yellow taffeta. Yellow taffeta. Yellow taffeta for the lining. What? Yellow taffeta for the lining. Um. He says the lining will be yellow taffeta. Oh, my. Yellow taffeta. Uh, just what I would have chose myself. Uh. But, has he commenced cutting yet? Oh, masterly, masterly, <laughs> masterly, masterly. Oh, my poor back, but it is done. Now, let me see, that is uh, one, two, three, twelve. Twelve, twelve. Old, and then four pieces for the west and four, four pieces for all the lining. What? There's no breadth at all. Tippets for mice and ribbons for mobs. It is no breadth at all. But it is all done. Now, let me see. Oh, oh I'm so weary. And the light is fading fast. Now then, there's pocket flaps, cuffs and buttons. Yes, all is ready for the morning. Already and sufficient, except for one item, and I am wanting one single skein of cherry colored twisted silk. The tailor lived quite nearby in College Court. 
being so poor, he rented just the kitchen of a house, next to the doorway to College Green. The mice were more fortunate and did not have to brave the bitter cold. With their secret passages and stairways, they could run from house to house. Indeed, all the time, without ever going into the street. Oh, <laughs> 
Where is my twist, Simkin? <coughs> I feel... Terrible. I fear I have a fever. I'm so weak. Alas, as my hand does tremble so. Oh, and what are the embroidery? Oh, only the finest stitching will suffice. Oh. Oh. One and twenty buttonholes. One and twenty buttonholes. Of cherry colored twist to be finished by noon. Oh, finished by noon. On Saturday. On Saturday? No more twist. No more twist. And it is already Tuesday. Tuesday. And it is Tuesday what evening. Is to become of the cherry colored coat? No more twist. And what did he do? Oh, no what twist. is to become of the cherry colored coat? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. yes, yes. Wait for me. And the waistcoat. Embroidered with poppies and cornflakes. The waistcoat of cream colored satin by Saturday's day. Cut on the cross. Yes, and lined with yellow taffeta. For the mayor's wedding. To be finished by Saturday in its Tuesday evening. Trimmed with gauze and chenille to be ready for Christmas Day. Oh, yes. Ah, these venison pasties. He gave us tippets for mice. Oh, my. Here we are. Is all clear? In the tailor's shop in Westcott Street, the embroidered silk and satin lay cut upon the table. And who should come to sell them when the window was barred and the door fast locked? three days and nights, and now it was Christmas Eve. But it is in the old story that all the beasts can talk in the night between Christmas Eve and Christmas Day in the morning, though there are very few folk that can hear them or know what it is they say. Oh, Dilly, 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 oh, Dilly, Dilly. Oh, what shall we have for supper, Mrs. Bond? There's geese in the larder and ducks in the pond, but my master's cupboard is as empty as old Mother Hubbard's. Oh, 
Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle. All the cats in Gloucester. Except me. Kitty alone, a merry mouse in the mill. Cook me carry, kitty alone, kiss alone. It was a rock in the well. Kitty alone, kitty alone, a merry mouse in the mill. Cook me carry, kitty alone, kitty alone. Drive me where the world we ride. Kitty alone, kitty alone. A sword and buckler by his side. Raveling, but I have my twist. Lovely day for the mayor's wedding. Beautiful day for the wedding. Happy Christmas. A fine day. Yes, it's a beautiful day. Happy Christmas! A beautiful day for the mayor and his wife! <laughs> 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 Alack, I have my twist. But no more strength, no time, than will serve to make me one single buttonhole. For this is Christmas Day in the morning. The mayor of Gloucester shall be married by noon. And where is his cherry-colored coat? Mine, Sinkin. Let me open the door.
my fever will still be with me. I cannot believe my eyes. Oh, joy! A miracle! Oh, these exquisite roses! Just look at the pansies! I've never seen such cornflowers. But what is this? Such tiny writing. Uh, no more twist. How beautiful! A fine coat. Such ruffles. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Such embroidered cuffs and lappets. Just like the mares. Magnificent. Oh. 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 Such tabby silks and, uh, and rosebuds. Oh, the buttonholes are the greatest triumph. The stitches of those buttonholes were so small. They looked as if they had been made by little mice. <laughs>